This video will introduce you to trigonometric ratios. Trigonometry defines the relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. In right triangles, the three important trigonometric ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent. The sine of x is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of x is equal to the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And the tangent of x is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. To help you remember the ratios, you can take the first letter of each equation to get the phrase so ka toa. Let's try a couple of problems. In the following triangle, what is the sine of angle x? Referring back to Sokotoa, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. In this triangle, the opposite side is BA and the hypotenuse is BC. So the sine of x is BA over BC. What about the cosine of angle y? Sokotoa tells you that the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. In this triangle, the adjacent side is BA and the hypotenuse is BC. So the cosine of the angle is BA over BC. What do you notice about the sine of X and the cosine of Y? They are exactly the same. Since this is a right triangle, the sum of angle X and angle Y is equal to 90 degrees, which means that X and Y are complementary angles. In fact, the following statement is true for all angles. The sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of its complement. With this information, try the following problem. In the triangle shown, angle A is a right angle and AG, BF, and CE are parallel to each other. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to the cosine of angle DFB. What do you know about overlapping triangles when a line is drawn parallel to the sides of the triangle? The triangles are similar. So all three triangles in this diagram are similar. Similar triangles have congruent corresponding angles. So angle G and angle DEC are both congruent to angle EFB. So what does that mean about the cosine of angle G? It has to be equivalent to the cosine of angle DFB because the angles are congruent. What about the sine of angle DEC? Is that equivalent to the cosine of angle DFB? The only time that the cosine and sine of an angle is equivalent is if the angle is 45 degrees. Since angle D is 30 degrees, that is not the case here, which means that the sine of angle DEC is not equivalent. How about the last one? Is the sine of angle D equivalent to the cosine of angle DFB? What do you think? What do you know about the angles? The angles are complementary to each other, which means that the sine of one is equal to the cosine of the other. So the sine of angle D is equivalent to the cosine of angle DFB. Let's try one more problem. Consider right triangle ABC. Find the cosine of angle B. What is the ratio for cosine? Think about so katoa. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent over the hypotenuse is equal to CB over 12. Without the length of CB, you don't have enough information to solve the problem. So what do you think you can do to find it? Since this is a right triangle, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Fill in the side lengths for B and C. To solve three square roots of two squared, square both parts separately. Simplify to get nine times two, which is equal to 18. Subtract 18 from both sides. To get CB by itself, take the square root of both sides. 126 is not a perfect square, but you can rewrite it as a square root of nine times 14, since nine is a perfect square. This can be rewritten as a square root of 9 times the square root of 14, and simplified to 3 times the square root of 14. Substitute 3 square root of 14 back into the equation for CB. Simplify to get the cosine of B is equal to the square root of 14 divided by 4. 
The answer can remain as a ratio. But if you had to, could you take it one step further and solve for the actual measure of angle B? To get the measure of angle B, you need to take the inverse cosine of the square root of 14 divided by 4. Use your inverse cosine button on the calculator to solve that the measure of angle B is 20.7 degrees. So in review, sine, cosine, and tangent are trigonometric ratios that help solve for missing angles and sides of right triangles. Another important property in solving right triangles is that the sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of its complement. Good luck!